Pura Vida is, uh, if you literally translate it, is pure life. And um, it, is, it is sort of the aloha for Hawaiian people because it's like hello, it's goodbye, and it's the way you describe how you're feeling yourself. And uh, it is very, it's something that is very stick to our identity as a nation. So it's a way of understanding life too. It's a way of being respectful with nature. It's a way of, uh, of uh, being relaxed. It's an optimistic view on, on things. And I think that is a very good uh, virtue as a nation. A very nice characteristic to have that pura vida. Along with learning Spanish and more about Latin American culture, we also enjoyed many weekend excursions. Beautiful being here at the, the heart of the volcano. I don't think they call it that. It's called the crater, but um, it's very natural. It's like a very interesting climate. I've never experienced it before, so this has definitely been cool. We're in Manuel Antonio. And we're really grateful to have these weekend excursions and new experiences overall. I'm excited, I tried the seafood pasta, and it has octopus, and I've never tried it before, and this is kind of scary. Let's do it. It's the first one. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Pura vida! <laughs> For me, I think I've internalized it to mean that this is truly the good life. Like, all things that are good about life, taking it easy, enjoying nature because nature's all around us, it's gonna be us. And I feel like I've really experienced that while I've been here. I have incorporated that into my life as an optimistic thing, it's a way to relax, to like not worrying about things that you cannot control. And uh, yeah, it's, it's something that defines us uh, very well, like the culture of Costa Rica. Mm, very peaceful and relaxed. Well, thank you very much, Rafa. Pura vida. Pura vida.